being a, being under quarantine for me has kind of gotten me kind of focused a little mm-hmm. bit too. Even though I've still had to go to work, um, I've slowed down. I've had to look at things and try to figure out what's next. I mean, here we are with coffee with Dennis. Coffee with Dennis. I used to grab with my phone. No joke. And I would always just, you know, record Coffee with Dennis and people say, oh, I really like what you said, blah, 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 which was, I appreciate this. <laughs> but when sitting down during this quarantine, um, business, certain parts of business slowed down. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, what What do I want to put my attention on? And I want to put my attention on creating a platform. I've been wanting to do mm-hmm. it. Here we are. Right. Now we're able to do that. Right. You know, so that's real. Yeah, like to... Even though a lot of people have taken quarantine negatively, it's really about your perception on things. Everything is based on perception, everything, right? Everything. Everything. Like, I'm I'm not even a social person to begin with. Like, if you're not family or in a circle, you know, I can really deal without the, the gatherings. Mm-hmm. And then now flipping that into not, oh, I'm stuck in the house. It's like, okay, well, I started a business at the house. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I can say that I went to business with my best friend at 20. A lot of people can't say that. A lot of people want to say that or mm-hmm. have wanted to say that. I can go back to a lot of OGs and a lot of people who have been through the game and been, oh, yeah, you starting a business. At, yeah, I wish I could have did that. If I mm-hmm. could go back, I would. I've heard that so much. I'm like, okay, well, it sounds like there's something I need to do then. Mm-hmm. You know, that's kind of, I've always felt like taking advice is kind of easy because mm-hmm. you, you see the people's end result. Right. And I know I'm not trying to be like that. You know, like I know I can't be that. That's not for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't end up how you ended up. That's right. And And that's why you you really got to be careful who you take advice from. Mm -hmm. Right? I always tell people, if you're not willing to trade lives with that person, be careful listening to their advice Mm -hmm. because you may get what they got. Right. Right? Right. So you got to be careful whose advice you take. If if that person is not where you want to be or hasn't... Now, they're... I, Joe brought up a good point to me one time. What if that person is able to share with you uh, the pitfalls and the mistakes? So mm-hmm. I definitely understand that uh, perspective of it. Uh, but even then, I would be just careful of mm-hmm. taking their advice Ooh. because sometimes, you know, somebody will give you advice based off of their fears. Right. Somebody may say, "Hey, don't get in, don't get in that business." Because I've lost money before. Mm-hmm. Well, you lost money. Right. Don't mean that I'm fixing to lose exactly. money. You know what I mean? So you just got to be careful of advice, period. Mm-hmm.